Welcome back guys, my name is Riser Gaming, and today we're playing some more Evil Land 2. Now, I'm going to apologise in advance because this is the second time me trying to record this video. The first one went a little bit wrong, and when I tried to do it again, I had saved the game a little bit later on, and it doesn't let you go back to previous saved games. So, so far all you've missed is I left the previous, like where we ended the last video, I basically left from there. Entered the Haunted Forest and came into this dungeon. That's pretty much it. The only sort of main thing we missed out is these these new bad guys here, which look really like the sort of you know the ch the chomp not chomps uh, the sort of blocks. So they're like I can remember what can't remember what they were called. They were from Mario, and they sort of drop down on your head. And that's really all we've sort of missed. Just getting to this sort of point. But apart from that, the story itself hasn't actually progressed that much further. Oh, and we came across this little guy, who I believe is from the medieval games on old PS1 or PS2. I I can't remember. If you do know which format that was on, whether it was PS1 or PS2, do tell me in the comments. So we're making our way along here. And if all has went well, instead of the like, last time I played, you should be able to hear everything I'm saying and all the audio in the game. Now this night suit is a mechanic that's used to cross over the spikes. What is it? Did that open something? Ah, another platform. So we have to get back onto these spikes by climbing in this suit. Now, I don't know if there's a game out there that's had this sort of mechanic with regards to the going into the armor to climb about spikes. I have no idea what it is, so if anyone wants to leave that down in the comments, feel free. He can't walk by those, but if I come out of this suit and then use her. Should be able to like, make my way along. Hmm. So step off. Oh, it's broken, so I can't get the suit in this one. I can get it. Oh no, I can't get it in this one either. Okay, so there must be a set way to do these. So I'll go stand on this suit. So only certain suit blocks can do it. And then use her again and see if I can and then get back in the suit and clump my way all the way back across there. And then now what? Okay. Hmm, not really sure, so should I break those pots with... Can she reach that far though? Apparently so. Come on, up we go. Cross the spikes. Now what did you open? Okay. But I can't cross that little bridge with the spike suit, so I'll have to climb out. Okay, more little places to go. And let's dispose of you. Save the game first. Because I won't, oh, I will no doubt die. Ow. Ow. I really do like this graphic style though. This is the sort of, for me, I'd say this, I don't want to say it's the most nostalgic. Because obviously, if you go back to the, the nostalgia style gaming for me then, <laughs> it's a lot older than this. Rusted? Sweet, I can blow off steam on something that won't complain. 
afterwards. Apologies in advance if I break it. Okay, so use her. Okay, I get you. Yeah, if it for me nostalgia gaming is going all the way back to the Atari in the 80s. But like this style of game, probably sort of 90s era. For me, this was really when like I really got into gaming. And it became a big thing for me. I think so you can tell when when I, I would say I went from being a mature gamer to sort of from a sort of casual gamer to a mature gamer was definitely back in the days of I would say Mario and Sonic were the sort of the, the, I don't want to say casual type games but they were the ones that sort of started me into gaming and then the 90s really for me was Final Fantasy you know these are other sort of RPGs, GRPGs, that sort of thing. And that's kind of when it all, all properly began, my obsession with gaming. Let's try this again. I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to be going. Nope. Come on, platform. Okay, I'm really confused now. Let's hit this one up here. So that goes across here, and then hit this one here. Then do we hit this one here again? Just stand on this one. And then... Onto this one. Got to do something, come on. Yay, treasure. That, like I say, this is the best part is getting all the booty. Please don't be green goo. Oh, a strange gem. Yeah, another item that's likely to bring you trouble. More than likely, yeah. Everything else seems to bring me trouble in this game. Now, where'd I go? game is really confusing. So I've been that way. different ways to go in this dungeon. I ran straight down that way, but there's also down this side. Oh, I did not see that there. I got a little bit of a fright there. <laughs> Stupid blocks. Oh, okay. Ow. Well, this is going to be fun. Follow back. And then oh oh, 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 oh I did not think that one was coming in. Oh my god. Kill the spiders before they kill me. Oh, I didn't think those would come alive. Oh, you gotta get behind them. See if she does any better. I've got to hit them in the back. Oh, 
Oh, come on. I mean, this is not going very well. Yes, Menos can get behind him, so that's good to know. Another one down. Come on. And the last one. Thank you, Menos. I can't really see, so I'm guessing I'm going downstairs. Oh, oh I have to use someone to open this. Let me hit the save point first, because I'll probably die. Kill the fish. Even though they're not much of a threat to me, you know, it's a bit sad. There we go. So you gotta put Menos to use. Kill all the fish. And then... Now I'm wondering if I can... Yeah, I was gonna say, kill the last little fish. Push this in. And up. And put the water back on. And up it fills. Just like that. Time to kill some spiders on the way. Come on, spider. Up here we go, now hit the switch uh, with Finna, and we head back down and round, come on, chop chop. Now where do I want this, so I want that here, no, yeah, 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 okay. down, come on push it. Why isn't he pushing it? Can he not? There we go. Wonder why he wasn't pushing that there. That was a bit odd. And now I have to make my way all the way back round. Do this all again. Hit the switch over here. And here was me thinking, you know what? Instead of playing Portal, I'll get away from the puzzles. That doesn't seem to be the case today. I didn't realise this dungeon would be full of so many. Now what have we got in here? Lots of spike. Uh oh, Finn is probably better. Don't get oh no, avoid the spikes. Can I hit it? Oh yeah I can. I didn't know we'd divide up though. Kill them all! Uh oh oh. 
Let's bring Finna back out. I deal with one at a time. Oh, she missed. That was kind of my fault though. I say she missed. I missed. Kind of hurt a little bit. Stupid little blue blob. Surely that's enough to do it. Get out of my way. Oh! You dirty little. Yeah, that's right. Can't believe I did not see that block there. Pretty much what's happened to me most of the time I've been playing these levels is I've missed those blocks and end up getting hit. So, wait, is this just leading me back to... Oh no. I see what I've got to do. Another time round. There we go. What have I found in this one? Another strange gem. Well, isn't that just great? Now I've got two strange gems. Oh! As to what they do? No idea. Okay, I can see this. Whoa! Okay, so there's a safe game thing here. Do they go there? Strange gem. Ah, okay. They were, so they're the keys for for that big gap. There's it. This is gonna be a boss fight. I thought it just did a boss fight. Oh, please, come on. You can't do it to me twice. Somebody sounds angry. Are you the boss? Are you the big guy? I know you. I spoke to you years back. Who broke my beautiful pots? I love those pots. Oh, I recognize you. You're the one who came and chased my ghost friends out of the forest. And now that I've got new friends, you want to take those away from me too? No. I don't believe you. I see I have no choice. I'll have to get rid of you. Awesome. Circle round, circle round, oh. Stop with the explosive stuff. It's not any fun. I don't like blowing up. Oh no. I only got the hit once. You know, you don't really have to keep launching explosives at your back. The fact you can do that is kind of weird. It really begs the question, where are they all coming from? Where are you storing all these and how are you creating them? It's creepy. Oh, come on. Finally beat him. It's only taking me 
an undisclosed number of attempts that, you know, I'd rather not reveal. Can we talk now? You happy to listen? You're just too strong. Sorry, my friends, once again, I have failed to protect you. But we don't want to attack your friends. She speaks the truth. We simply require your assistance. You seem strong enough to remove the boulder from my end bridge. The boulder? Why didn't you say so? But you attacked us first. Oh dear, I, I, I suppose so. Please forgive me. I only thought... Actually, I should be thanking you. After our encounters, I have had a change of heart. Since I've lived alone for so long, I have resolved to make some actual friends. I suppose humans aren't that bad after all. It's been ages since that whole ghost thing. Anyway, you're quite the looker for your age, ma'am. If you have any tips for keeping your skin so smooth, I might be interested. Although I'm not human, I'm starting to get these wrinkles and... Hey, I'm still young. Might we get back to the issue at hand? I want to find my people. Ergo, we have to cross that bridge. Sadly, I don't have the strength to do that. But you're a demon, aren't you? Yes. Then perhaps I could help you. Think of, his, think of it as an apology for attacking you. We guardians are able to harness mana. Mana? My dad mentioned that once. Some kind of natural energy. You find it in all living things, but it's dangerous in large doses. Yes, that's right. They say it's possible to increase a demon's strength using mana. How about I give you mine? Really, it's the least I can do. Got mana, natural life energy, guaranteed 100% sustainable, eco-friendly. It is done. I hope it helps you. Now leave. I need to rest for a spell. That fight wore me out. It's been ages since I swam that much. Maybe I should start exercising more and lose a little weight. Well, you do look a little bit bigger since we last met. So Jatai is a guardian too. Like the one we faced in the forest in my time. I wonder if they're somehow connected to the mag Magi. Did you catch that solid snail? We must locate the person who will help us use this mana. Okay, that wasn't too bad a boss fight. It only took me, as I said before, a very, a very, 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 very high amount, undisclosed number of times to defeat, finally de defeat him. And even then, it was very, very frustrating. Now let's get out of this damn forest and see what we can do. We're going to leave this one here today. Like I said, that dungeon was a pain in the ass. It's a, 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 the boss battles pretty much sucked. Navigating about pretty much sucked. And that's not because the game was bad. I clearly haven't played a game like this in a long time. And my, my skills are just not up to scratch anymore. I think I need some more practice. Any comments, leave them down below. If you enjoyed this, hit the like button. And if you haven't already, right now there'll be a big button popping up on the screen. Hit that button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.